You're with MMA with Yak and Jay on BrawlersTV.com. I'm the Yak Man, Ryan Yakovetti. Joining me as always, Randy J. How's everything going? We're doing all right, and we got a special treat today. We have an awesome interview, somebody we love to talk to. He's known as the Hurricane. He's a lightweight fighter from Colorado. He fights under the Elite XC banner currently. Please welcome Connor Hume. Connor, how are we doing today, man? Doing great. Happy to be here. So you had an amazing win. Uh, on Elite XC on the same fight that Kimbo fought on. Uh, tell us about that fight. Uh, I fought a guy named Edson Berto. Uh, he was a real uh, well-rounded fighter. He uh, was coming off two losses, but both of his losses were to uh, real well-known guys. He fought KJ Nunes. Um, he said that he you know, went into that fight dehydrated, uh, but you know, KJ handled him pretty, uh, pretty easily. Um, you know, seemed to be chasing him around the cage, and then he fought uh, Eve Edwards, and seemed to be getting the best of the stand-up with Eve uh, before he caught that uh, now legendary flying knee counter to the single leg. Uh, but I knew he was real tough going in. He had, you know, a grip of submissions by heel hook. Um, you know, real sharp stand-up. Uh, his brother Andre Berto is, you know, setting the professional boxing world on fire. So it was definitely a step up in terms of competition and you know, real happy to have uh, been able to pound that one out. <laughs> what do you think you learned about yourself after that fight against a guy that was that well-rounded? Because clearly he was a challenging fight, wasn't an easy fight to take. Um, well, I don't think I learned anything about myself. I always knew that, uh, that I had the heart of a champion. I think that you know, anyone who got to witness that fight um, may have learned a few things. I mean, uh, I've been, you know, I had a hard time getting signed uh, with Elite XC initially because they thought I was a wrestler and that I was boring and they were uh, more of a striker uh, focused organization, as you may be able to tell from the alleged stand up bonus <laughs> with uh, Kimbo's the old Kimbo fight. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they definitely wanted to have guys who, who stand and bang in there. And, you know, even though I finished, you know, all but two of my fights by submission. They, uh, you know, they weren't too interested in me. But uh, I came into this fight, you know, following a six-month layoff when I broke my jaw fighting Marlon Matias. And uh, in that time, all I did was work on my stand-up because I couldn't grapple, I couldn't wrestle, but I could work on my footwork and I could, you know, hit the mitts. And uh, so I just, I just went to work and rededicated myself to learning the striking game. And uh, I think it paid off for me. I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen the fight yet, but. Uh, I think once it comes out and people see it, I think people are going to have a new idea of just who Connor Hune is. The hurricane, and that's exactly what you did when you came yeah. out to this fight. You were like that in your last fight that you did. Uh, people who don't know that you broke your jaw within the first 30 seconds of the fight. I was like a minute and a half in. And then you uh, won in decision in the third round. And fought through it. Then you were out for such a long period of time because of it. What did you feel like you've learned? about yourself well, before in, this fight. Well, in that Matias fight, you know, I mean, I've always, I've always thought of myself as, as a fighter. I think it's, it's just who I am. It's, it's something that's in my blood. You know, I've, I've always said that I feel, uh, you know, that my, that my spirit has been here for, you know, thousands of years. And it sounds kind of weird and all metaphysical and whatnot, but I believe that, like, the body is just a shell and that um, it's my spirit that's eternal. And I believe that my spirit is fought and died probably thousands of times and, uh, and fought and been victorious thousands of times, but that's what I'm here to do is to be a fighter. And uh, whether you break this body, it doesn't matter because you're never gonna break my spirit. And I showed everybody that in the Matias fight. And I think that anybody who fights me is gonna have a real hard time. Uh, Berto had a, an arm bar that was sunk balls deep, you know, and my arm popped and I was thinking, tap, and I was like, for a split second it popped into my head and I was like, I don't know if I can cuss, but I was like, fuck that. And I saw him torque on it, and I was like, I'll just let him gas out. And he was cranking on it, and I waited, and he was going straining. I said, okay, how long can he hold? And as soon as he let go, pulled that out and pounded him out with it. And uh, I've always said, if you want to beat me, you got to kill me. And I know that sounds morbid, but uh, my chin's been tested. I don't drop, um, you know. I know what happens. I know guys uh, go out there. You know, Pedro Hizo is amazing. You know, known for his chin. Now he gets knocked out. I guess everybody gets knocked out. But if you don't knock me out, I'm certainly not going to tap out. You know, that's uh, that's me telling you that you're better than me. That's never going to happen. You know, let the let the ref tell me that. Or you know, if I get dropped, that's fine. But I've taken some shots and I haven't dropped. 
and uh, I'm sure as hell not going to tap somebody and tell them, okay, you got the best of me. That's not going to happen. Connor the Hurricane Hewn, you're here with MMA with Yak and Jay on BrawlersTV.com. Stay tuned and watch part two of this thing because we're going to still try to get the best of them. Stay with us.